So I'm having a chat with Lola Lennox. How are you? Hi, I'm doing good, thanks. How are you? Good. Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Uh, let's start off and talk about uh, a brand new single of yours called uh, Back at Wrong. Tell us about the single. I released a single a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm so happy to have it out. It's written at a time in my life when I was in a relationship that was pretty toxic and we we knew we should have broken up and we just like kept breaking up and getting back together kept like Mm. trying to get away and it's not really working um so the song is like a reflection of that kind of chaotic time in my life luckily I've lived and learned as we do Mm. but um yeah now the song now the song carries the message so I'm, I'm happy that it gets to uh come out and and kind of reinvent that time in my life in a positive way Yes, excellent. And uh, there's a remix for it, for it as, as well. Tell us about the remix. Yeah, I released the remix um, with these guys from the UK called Sondar. Um, mm. It's fun because it has a, like, you want to hear it in a club. And that makes me kind of like, oh, I wish clubs were open so people could dance along to this song. But it, you know, it has a fun groove to it. It's more modern. Excellent. And uh, there's a video that's uh, been recorded for it as well that was recorded all in uh, in lockdown. Tell us about the making of it. Um, yeah, it was like in April, in the beginning of lockdown. So, or maybe it was like May, but we were all a bit unsure about how to, you know, ha- we hadn't really had much interaction at that point with anybody else. Um, we did it really safely, though. Um, we all had COVID tests and, well, of course, socially distanced. But um, I rented this mid-century house and I wanted it just to have this kind of like surreal retro like twisted domestic nightmare feeling to it um and um, my boyfriend plays the guy in it um so it was it was a really fun experience it was cool to put the story and meaning of the song into visuals it was like a totally new uh perspective on it and I try to pull out the lyrics and the story as much as I could through kind of symbolism in the video mm. Yeah, excellent. And uh, ha- speaking of, of lockdown and quarantine and things, has that impacted on you and your music in, in any way? Yeah, I mean, it's actually been quite positive, to, like, mm. musically. Um, I've had Back It Wrong Out, which is done, which I'm really happy with the responses I've been getting. I released a, a video and single for a song called Pale um, earlier in, I think it was it was April, Mm. Um, so I've been happy with sharing music. I've been I've got a home studio, so I'm actually just finished up my next single two nights ago. So I'm really excited about that. And I've been I've been working writing songs. So you know when you're an artist, if you if you have like you know, a basic setup, it, it's actually quite nice because you have more time and space to to get your teeth into creativity. And it's kind of the thing that gets you through all of this. Yeah, and uh, with all the with the singles that are coming out, the couple this year, the new one on its way. Are we gearing up to anything in particular, an EP or an, or an album, maybe? Yeah, so the next single called "Lala Love Me" is coming out in early December, and then in the spring, I'm going to be releasing an EP. Amazing, excellent. Now, uh, talking uh, about your background, you've come from a, a musical household with obviously your uh, your mum being uh, Annie Lennox. Was it easy to get into this industry with with the background that you've got, or were you just left to to fight for yourself in in such a way? You know, I think I grew up in this environment with so much music going on. I, you know, it was there was so much inspiration for me to draw from as a kid. I'd watch my mum perform and make albums Mm. and it really impacted me to see how meaningful it was for her to make music and kind of how hard she worked at it so that's been really um like inspiring and positive and um you know I've tried to carry through her her passion and work ethic um but you know there's there's mixed things because of course you know when you grow up in you know, with your parent having a lot of success when you're younger, you know, you feel like you have quite a high bar to to reach. Um, mm. But, and when I was younger, I, maybe I felt a little more like insecure and, and kind of nervous around, around uh, the process of, you know, trying to make a career out of music. 
But I did also turn that into drive and kind of like um, I worked extra hard at writing as many songs as I could and just honing my craft. So it's, it's, it's good. Good. Excellent. And uh, when lockdown and everything, and fingers crossed, uh, COVID has, has disappeared, are you hoping to be out on the road and doing some gigs as soon as possible? I, mean, I can't wait to like play again. It's, <laughs> it's, it feels like when you're sharing music with people and releasing singles and you don't get to play, to perform and kind of like have that shared connection with the, with the audience, it's almost like the music is given some life, you know, when you play live. Um, mm. Yeah, I'll be, I mean, whenever this, this uh, ends and it's safe to be playing again, I, I can't wait to play again. And I also can't wait to, to see live music performed by other artists. I'm sure everyone's missing going to, to shows. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, Lola, it's been great having a chat with you. Yeah, you too.